Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, get in here. You've been doing it wrong. You've been doing everything wrong. You didn't even know. You didn't even know. <laughs> and we didn't know. We didn't either. And if you're not subscribed, you're doing that wrong. So subscribe oh, now. Yeah. And check and see if you've been unsubscribed because we've been getting reports that people yeah. have been getting unsubscribed to the channel. So yeah. double check even if you think you are part of the crew. Okay, okay. All right, so 10 things that you've been doing wrong your whole life. Our whole life is about to get stomped on. They're about to be like, Seriously. you've been doing this, you've been doing this. So uh, let's kind of find out what they're doing and uh, yeah. you know, check in with us, guys. I really feel like I'm going to be like, are you serious? I think it's going to be some crazy stuff. Yeah. But uh, let's find out. Let's enjoy it together. Peeling vegetables. Since mankind invented a special device for peeling vegetables, the cooking process and life in general has become much easier, but it looks like there's still room for improvement. However, you don't need to invent something new or buy some weird devices that telemarketers are promoting. A regular knife for peeling vegetables will do. Seriously, just take a closer look at it. See the two blades? Turns out that you can use both sides of a knife to peel vegetables. This makes vegetable peeling much more effective. It saves time, as you don't need to make unnecessary Necessary movements. Look how smooth that's peeling. The video with this undoubtedly brilliant discovery was posted on Reddit and instantly went viral. Even people who worked as professional chefs for many years didn't I know this secret. That you could do that. Chinese food takeout mm. box. Each oh, of us knows what Chinese you takeout boxes look like. We've all seen them in some movies or TV series. The main characters love to order takeouts. These cardboard containers even have a special name, the oyster pail, since oyster. they were originally intended for storing oysters. The advantage of the box is that it's affordable, durable, and quite tight if it's in an upright position. Yeah, in it short, is. it's quite reliable, though getting food out of it may not be that simple, <laughs> especially when it's something small and you're trying to use chopsticks. Yeah, the flaps are getting in the way, and while you're struggling with the chopsticks, the food's getting cold. It seems very inconvenient, but there is a way to make things easier. As you probably noticed, these containers are prefabricated. That is, they are folded in a special way before putting food inside. And that means yeah, like you can unfold plate. them. In fact, it is assumed that you will use the containers this way, turning them into anything. a disposable plate. It is a pity that hardly anyone knows about this. Chicken wings. Do you like fast food? Then you probably love chicken wings from KFC. <sighs> But here's the problem. Unlike the rest of the chicken, the wings are quite difficult to eat. All because chicken wings have two bones, but a rather small I content of meat. Barbarian. Seems too much of a trouble. Maybe oh, it's better to order legs. Like Turns out you've been here. eating them the wrong way. Watch carefully. First, you need to take the wing with both hands and slightly twist it from side to side to feel the bones inside. Can you feel them? Now, gently pull it out on one side. It's easier than it sounds, right? Use this technique to get the second bone. and. The That'll do the trick. Now you only have the edible part, which you can dip in the sauce and eat without fear of accidentally choking on the bone. Feeling the oh urge to eat a couple of crispy yeah, wings now? <laughs> Mango. Oh, I love mango. Some people consider mangoes the most delicious of fruits. And you know, we can see why. This juicy and sweet fruit is great for desserts, meals, or just a quick snack. There is one downside though. It's really hard to peel. Yes, and this seed nice. inside. But don't worry. In fact, it's not as complicated as it seems at first glance. Oh, All you need is a table, a knife, and a glass. Cut the fruit into two parts as close to the seed as possible. Okay. Then take the piece without the seed. Take Take the glass, place it on the table, and pry off the flesh with the edge. Now just peel it inside the glass. If the mango's ripe enough, there's no problem. Then repeat the same procedure with the second part of the fruit, removing the seed first. In fact, you can peel many soft fruits this way. For example, kiwis, though you might need something smaller than a glass. A spoon will do. Umbrella. Usually an umbrella is a rather durable thing. Few people buy a new umbrella every season, and on the contrary, they can be used for years. But sooner or later, everything comes to an end, unless you give things a second life. With an umbrella, this okay. is really easy. When you have plenty of free time, you can turn it into almost anything. A skirt? Easy. It'll never get wet, too. Clothes dryer? No problem. It can even be turned into a flower stand. If you like to customize your home, just don't get too carried away. If everything around you is made of umbrellas, it'll be a little weird. Tea and coffee. What? 
Suppose you have new white sneakers. But for some Jordan reason, ones. you want them to have a different color. White ones do get dirty pretty quickly, and whatever the reason, regular tea or coffee can help. You only need to mm. brew them in a bowl large enough for your new shoes to fit in. And the rest is simple. You stuff your new beautiful white shoes right in there. Okay. That is, you are doing something that your mother probably told you never to do. Depending on the brand of coffee, the resulting color might be different. Actually, the result is pretty impressive. What? Seriously, it looks beautiful. You can also use tea of different varieties or other drinks. But if you want to repeat this experiment, try to make sure that the owner of the shoe doesn't mind. I don't. I think I missed that one. They didn't really show enough of the end result. What, you, what is it supposed to? It's supposed to protect the shoe from getting dirty in the future. I thought it was supposed to clean it. Well, I mean, I got those shoes downstairs, those white ones. Okay, they're so of all, dirty. Those these, we are not wasting tea and coffee. Those these on tea and is no. I we actually have some instant coffee down there. We, I need to put those in some coffee and find out if no, it works. No, no, you don't, because we're not wasting coffee on cleaning. Sh if you don't get a disinfectant wipe and clean them things, we're not wasting no coffee on, on, and tea on cleaning sh or whatever that is. Those that things. seems like a huge mess. You're gonna do that, and it's gonna look over. You have stains everywhere. It's not gonna work like that. Those things are done. For. But I didn't actually see, I mean, because they were putting new shoes in there and the one came up brown. Yeah, so I was like, like it, it, why are we doing this? This is literally like the ass scene on TV, the infomercials, because you're going to be at home with a bucket of tea or coffee and you're going to be like, I don't understand. I don't understand. What happened? It, my, my shoe's dirtier than it was when I put it in. This is, this is weird. This is weird. Hey, bags. Sport is cool. Being out in the warm weather is cool. Oh, Long walks are cool as well. But anyone who spent time doing any of these probably had to deal with one side effect. The shoe odor. See? Like, like wine. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it can be so unbearable that your eyes water. Of course, you can use deodorant, but what if you don't have it with you? Oddly enough, ordinary tea will come to the rescue. Brew black tea bags in hot water, one bag for each sneaker or shoe. In a couple of minutes, you can take them out, squeeze the water out a little if necessary, cool them, and put them inside the shoes. They'll need about an hour to deal with the bacteria causing the unpleasant smell. The only thing then left to do is to pull out the bags, wipe the tea residue off, off and leave the shoes in the fresh air to dry. However, not only tea can help to deal with the unpleasant smell. Kitty litter works fine too. It's simple. Put the litter in the shoes and leave them for a night. If necessary, do it again. But most importantly, don't forget to put your shoes somewhere far away from your pet. Oh, Who knows? What if it busy. decides to use the litter for its intended purpose? Warm and oh, draw. Yeah. Well, there no, you go. That's exactly what you do with baking soda. That's what I, you put the baking soda in a little baggie well, and put it in the shoe. It's well, the same we got thing. some shoes that need saving downstairs. Don't we got, I know it? We got those Prestos, those other Nikes that are in there, yes. those Adidas, both pair of Adidas, the gray ones and the white ones. Yes, but, I know. I just need some little baggies, but I'm going to tell you right now. See, we don't have time for that. I'm throwing kitty litter in there today. No, no. Maxi no. litter is going in my shoe. Kitty litter. To me, cat litter still smells like cat. Like, no. You, I, I, you would not want your shoes smelling like cat litter. I don't care how good it smells. smelling like stink feet? All right, let's get to the warming yeah. dry. We already know black people don't oh, use yeah, this thing, yeah, right? But it's a different for purpose. That. If you own an electric or gas right stove mm -hmm. and integrated oven, then you've probably noticed the drawer at the bottom. Most people, no matter their age, use it for storage of various baking dishes, forms, and other bulky things, no, which are then placed in the oven. It seems that, that this yeah, is done in all countries over the world. Like, but too. this drawer under the oven is actually not used for its intended purpose. It's actually intended for storage, but not of dishes. The inventors of modern kitchen stoves assume that it would be used for <laughs> cooked food the dishes that are about to be served. For example, you've just made roasted meat, but it's still about half an hour before dinner. That's when you need to use the drawer under the oven. It's Never supposed to help keep that. the dish warm while not letting it dry. Well, and also protect it from those who are too hungry and impatient. You've got to admit, it's brilliant. Okay, Drink but you lids. know what about that one though? And now a couple of life hacks about drinks. Let's say that you're tired of the coffee or soda stains your cups leave on the table. What? Or maybe you're just used to drinking something from a cup on a saucer. Who knows? Maybe your ancestors were aristocrats. 
or maybe you're just looking for ways to use ordinary things in an unusual way. In any case, try using the drink lid as a coaster. You'll be surprised how well it works, as if the creators of disposable cups actually thought of this possibility and decided to leave something like an Easter egg for the most cunning of people. Most people admit that they specifically ask for two lids when buying drinks to go, one to keep their coffee warm and the second to use as the coaster. And you know, it's really convenient. Another life hack is for drinks in metal cans. You may have noticed that there is a hole in the can tab that's used to open it. It can also be found on the canned food. But while the tab is just a convenient way of getting to the food, then with drinks, everything is so much cooler. So let's say you want to drink your soda through a straw, but it's almost impossible to put around. it in the can. Oh, it floats, yeah. bends, yeah. and yeah. keeps falling yeah. out. So just push the, the straw day. through the hole in the tab. This really solves a lot of problems. McFlurry Sp I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, I just feel like some of these are kind of like, it's not like you've been doing it wrong, because to me it's kind of inconvenient to drink out of a straw. It is, you drink can, Like That's the whole point of the can, is so that you could just like What were you going to say about the warming tray? Oh, oh yeah, the warming tray. Here's the problem with that. It's like on the floor, basically. That's why I never want to put food in it because I mean once I figured it out I was like I'm still not using it because to me it's basically like putting food on the floor because it's like this is close to the ground as you get you know what I mean I don't like it I feel like it, it's not for food that's well, just disgusting we can't use it because it's got stuff under there so yeah we got pots and pans under there like every other human I never tried <laughs> If you've ever been to McDonald's and eaten their famous McFlurry ice cream, you've probably noticed something strange. The spoon has a really the weird spoon is design. The they it's me. thick, hollow, and has a square oh, shape. Someone must have tried to suck the ice cream out of it like really a straw, years. but it's not an easy task if the ice cream hadn't melted, mainly because the spoon was intended for something quite different. And now oh, it's not square one. because an ordinary plastic it's spoon would sink in the ice cream, mm. and its thickness is not for protection from the cold, and it's unlikely likely that anyone really feels more comfortable holding a square pen in their hand. Everything is much simpler. The answer lies in how the dessert is prepared. First, they put the ice cream in the cup, then add a mix in, stick a spoon in it, but all this still needs to be mixed up. And that's where the strange spoon shape comes to the rescue. The spoon clips into a special machine, which basically spins the spoon to mix the confection. It's Very simple. Smart. It's been a long time since I had a McFlurry. I would say it's yeah. been probably five or six years since I've had a McFlurry. Think about it, it'll be an ice cream. I, I was gonna say, honestly, I'm trying to really remember. Like, I don't even know if I've ever had a McFlurry? <laughs> like, ever? You were living in a hole, man. You're... Well, if you think about it, growing up, my mom wasn't about to buy us a McFlurry. If we went to McDonald's, we were getting real food. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting ice cream with a Happy Meal or whatever. But we, I mean, we went to McDonald's, but like... Yeah, I used to get the McFlurry. If I used to go by myself, you're talking about by my mom, like... Uh, well, I mean, because as an adult, I know I haven't gone to McDonald's and said, can I about, get a McFlurry? Yeah, you talking about so, uh, as an adult. You're 27 years old. What do you mean as an adult? You haven't lived in your parents' house for 10 years? I'm just, but yeah, because I completely canceled the part. I'm like, I can't remember if I'm I've like, ever had yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, take it 10 years back and remember that you haven't lived with your family. And then even before no, that, you I'm were able canceling. to drive a portion of those two years. So it's been right. 12 years since you've been driving. Right, but that's what I'm saying. You could have got your own McFlurry. But I don't think I ever wanted one as an adult. I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. Like, I used to give them something, but they, they're too busy. Like, it's it's Oreos or M&M's. Yeah, exactly. It's too sweet. It's too busy. And you know, I don't like I don't like a whole bunch of stuff in there. Man, nah, you, 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 you're weird. Yeah, you, you, don't even, you don't even like blizzards from Dairy Queen because you're weird. So You're right. The last time I had Dairy Queen, like some kind of ice cream, I remember being a kid. You're literally. fired. All right, guys. Let us know what you've been doing wrong. She's fired. Yeah, are, were some of these kind of common sense to you guys? <laughs> Let us know what you've been doing wrong. Leave it in the comments. Say yes. something in the comments. Like the video. And uh, hey, see you next time.